What's up, everybody? Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Fallon video. And in this video, we gotta talk about Loser's Q. Shroud talked about it on his stream. So we're gonna break down exactly what Shroud said and the top dog Riot Dev's response to Loser Q. Now, to recap what Loser's Q is, it's the idea that if you play in ranked and you lose a certain amount of games, you're gonna be put in a Q that basically puts you with everyone else that lost and you're going to end up in a quote-unquote loser's queue where one loss turns into another loss turns into you basically in a queue that uh, all your teammates are all pissed off and down bad just like you the enemy is completely stacked mmr wise against you and you just can't win and this idea has been around for a while and originally it was just people just saying hey this is happening and a lot of people just chalked it up to them being salty however as it happens to more and more players it just leaves people wondering if it's real and it even got to the point where shroud who has been jumping back in because he's going to be playing in the last chance qualifier had this to say on stream let's roll it once you start losing valorant places you in a loser queue so it doesn't get better till the next day there's literally no shot. That's how that works. So you're telling me if you lose a couple games, it'll throw you into lobbies with people that have also lost a couple games. And then everybody's just like down bad and they're all sad and they're playing together, super bummed and depressed. Hey, have you guys lost a game or two recently? I lost 20 in a row. Yeah, we lost last game. So yeah, even Shroud himself and all of his teammates are all believing in Loser's Q. So this is something that a lot of people are believing in. It's no longer a joke. And uh, yeah, everyone thinks that Loser's Q is real. However, Big Daddy Evil Moore and the senior competitive designer at Riot gave us a little bit of insight on Twitter. So let's talk about what he has to say about Loser's Q and uh, let's break down some of these answers. So he said this, quote, I saw a video featuring Shroud and I wanted to talk about it. Game analytics for every game I've worked on has shown losing matches consecutively is one of the main reasons players quit. Because of this reason, there is no loser's queue in Valorant. And he goes on in the preceding replies. The rumor is that we try to get you addicted to get you to play more. I personally do not think this is good for the game but it also does not meet our goals of just wanting to make a great game that you and them can enjoy. The War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Play with more than 2,000 tanks, helicopter ships, airplanes, and more that stretch across a hundred years since 1920 in dynamic PvP large-scale battles. There's an absolutely insane amount of detail, allowing you to break down vehicles into their individual components. There are vehicles in War Thunder that span back over a hundred years from the 1920s till today, and you can make your vehicle unique to you with crazy customization options, including camouflage, decals, and much more. I personally love War Thunder's incredibly detailed vehicle models that not only show where you get damaged, but gives you a full x-ray of exactly where it happened in depth and the graphics are insane with 4K graphics that look really, really clean. Play War Thunder now with our free bonus pack that will unlock multiple premium vehicles, account boosters, and much more. Don't miss out on this insane offer, so check out War Thunder in the description down below. So this is referencing the idea that you know, they want to make you play more because if they keep denying you that win, you keep wanting that win, so you keep playing more over and over and over again, you're stuck in a loop where you just keep playing and you're never getting that win because you're in loser's queue. He's rejecting this, saying people leave if they lose too much. If they lose consecutive matches, they're going to leave, so it wouldn't make sense for us to actually, you know, put in a loser's queue because it would be a huge reason why a lot of people would up and leave. And he goes on to say, quote, it would be in our best interest to actually make sure you win a game after starting to lose streak, which is why you see mobile games put you into bot matches if you lose a ton. I don't have an answer as to why it might feel like loser's queue is real. Sorry. So, yeah, I mean, this is like how Warzone does it. I mean, there's like a lot like Call of Duty is like the biggest example of, you know, putting you in a quote unquote winning queue where it's like, you suck, you suck, you know, you suck once, you suck twice, they're gonna give you a free win. They're gonna find the lowest level lobby they can throw you in where you'll frag out and then you'll finally get that dub and, you know, at least it will it'll carry you into the next game, right? That's typically why every single person that plays, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, they all 
think they're the best in the fucking world because that exists. They always had that pop-off game because they just throw them with bots or children every once in a while, but uh, that doesn't make sense for Valorant, and it wouldn't make sense that Illusus Q exists, according to Evil Moore. Now, he, he finishes it out saying, quote, We do not manipulate Q. It's very straightforward and just tries to find two teams that provide a 50-50 chance of either team winning and pitting them against each other. Research shows fair matchmaking keeps players, not unfair manipulated matchmaking. Now, I think this is clear as day. It doesn't make sense for Riot to implement a loser's queue at all. But that doesn't directly explain why well, it's a really shared phenomenon. And I really think it comes down to the fact that losses, especially losses in a row, are felt far more than wins. Like, you got a Game Leap sub, so you go on a giant, you know, six win streak because you're cracked. You don't jump around all happy saying, I'm in winner's queue, I'm in winner's queue. You just say, I'm cracked, I'm, I'm nuts, I'm the best that's ever been. But the reality of the situation is there's a certain amount of RNG, there's a certain amount of randomness in teams, and also there's RNG with your own play. And sometimes, you know, those close wins could be, you know, wins some days and losses other days. And that could just be just the randomness. I know it's not the most, you know, appealing answer, but it honestly doesn't make sense that they would put in a loser's queue and uh, even more has never once lied to us. So at least for this point, I think there is no loser's queue, but not everyone considers loser's queue the same thing. Someone in the comments replied saying, quote, I think it's more about the players we play with and the rank system being way too forgiving. There are people who don't communicate and make it a point to not work with their teammates to win. I've lost with people and had a great time, and I've won and hated it. So he's more talking about the fact that the loser's queue is like a subset problem to the real problem, which is the fact that the rank system is too forgiving to people that don't even really care or want to play the game. They're still climbing. They're still making it to a certain rank. And he wants more positive experience overall. It's not really about just losing it's about when you lose you're losing with people that are very negative and just make you have a terrible experience now he goes on to reply to this saying quote yeah it's hard there's no way to enforce team play or comms you get into a weird space where you ask yourself how much comms is enough then people find ways around it like just hot miking then you have to turn to players but turn into trolling and get people punished so he's saying basically there's no way to like force people to calm and there's no like meter that they could push to say like oh you have to calm this much in a game people control and abuse it whatever the case may be now more interesting question that was actually said afterwards was quote thoughts on an honor system similar to league to try and promote and reward good gameplay and he responded saying this quote i like the kind of thing but it's very complicated and not my space we have a social and player dynamics team that focuses on this kind of thing and they have a ton of stuff in the works who knows what they will cook up i personally like these systems but not my space now while he definitely didn't give us a definitive answer on that regard i think something that would be very interesting is a system in place where you could get reviewed by your teammates or maybe it's even just behind the scenes where you're getting reviewed based on reports and positivity and things like that like if you're someone who has no reports you're putting one tier if you have a whole bunch of toxicity reports you're putting another tier and then you just get put with players that match that level of tier right so if you're someone who has gotten like 10 reports for being toxic obviously you're toxic okay i'm sorry it, it is what it is okay <laughs> and uh Someone else has the same thing or something similar. When the matchmaking happens, y'all are more likely to get paired together. So the more toxic and negative you are, the more likely you are to be put with people who are toxic and negative. I think that would be very interesting. I know it would probably extend queue times a little bit up to a lot of bit, depending on the time of day, but it could be worth it. I, I don't know. It's just one suggestion. There's probably a number of different ways to deal with this problem. But, uh, but yeah, I do love it when we get these insights into ranked and the way it works, but I really want to pass the question off to you. How do you feel about you losers Q? Are you convinced it's not real or do you think Riot is still hiding something? And is there some things that you think rank needs to just make it a lot better? I really want to hear your opinion about all that. There's a large free bonus pack that you get for using our link down below. So go download it on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using the link right now. Go check it out down below.